Giholgan City historical background. Giholgan was a very picturesque and uh, dramatic local history and the past eventful history of Giholgan as we welcome the challenges of the new millennium. Giholgan said to be sleeping giant of the north was among the first 17 towns that composed the new province of Negros Oriental. When Governor General Valeriano Wheeler granted the petition of the province as a separate unit from Negros Occidental in January 1, 1890. There are several versions how the municipality derived its name. The first, according to the old tales, was attributed to the river flowing directly to the town, proper from the main spring in Sitio Anaho, Barangay Nagsaha. Hence the name Dipadungan, which means the point where the river flows to and then. The Sikad is associated with the Grosam incident in the 19th century when the Philippines was a colony of Spain. Men and women and children were said to be captured, beheaded, and thrown into the sea, now known as Tanyon Street by the Moros. Other accounts claim that the Moros dropped a bill into the sea when they found out that was used by the lookout warned the townsfolk of the coming. Since the time the place was called Hulugan, which means place where a thing was dropped. But in the Spanish writing, U and N are similar, that's why it became and commonly known as Yuhulga. Whether it all started as Ipadulgan or Yuhulga, the name is indeed very symbolic as the town is dropped with abundant blessings from the Almighty for a significant ten or so on to RE number 9469 municipality of Giholgan was converted into a component city to be known as the city of Giholgan Plabi site July 14, 2007 If I'm not wrong ang mayor ani kay ilahapang papa nila ni Guido o ni Nikoy mga Ries Proximior na siguro uh, Mayor Guido Ries na ato ang naghandol 2007 If I'm not wrong or his father